right, so here's my update for this week. I'm a couple days late, it's Tuesday, but um, I've just been busy. But everything's still going really good. Um, I've lost about 2.9 pounds since last week, which is kind of a lot to lose. Um, so we'll see what the measurements look like here in a minute. But yeah, I don't know the fasting so far. It seems to be getting just easier and easier. And I don't know why this go around, it feels so different than other times I've tried fasting in the past, but yeah, so far it feels really good. I feel like I can keep this up until I get down to whatever weight or body composition that I feel comfortable with. I feel like this is going to be pretty sustainable this time. Um, so we'll see in the coming weeks how it goes, but so far I'm really liking it. Um, the alternate day fasting... I don't know it just seems really good because on the days that I'm fasting and I'm not eating I just don't even have to think about food and I think for some reason fasting seems easier for me to tolerate than putting like a calorie limit on things like if I know my maintenance my maintenance calories are pretty low the last time I got a what is it RMR like my my maintenance calories are like I don't know 1500 calories which is not super low but for me like whenever I eat I just like to eat until I'm full and so I don't know putting like a calorie limit on a day just it, I don't know it doesn't I'm, I'm not very good at sticking to that like whenever I eat I just want to eat and not be thinking about calories so the fasting seems to be working for me better than trying to limit my calories because on my fasting days I'm just like well I didn't eat yesterday and I'm just eating one meal a day on my eating days and so I can just kind of it's it's like having a cheat meal every other day <laughs> basically because I can just kind of eat whatever I want for that one meal and feel satisfied and so on the days that I'm fasting I'm like it's okay I get to eat whatever meal that I want the next day and so for some reason with my brain that's clicking with me to work and so I don't know I'm gonna just keep it up um the only different thing I did this week, let's see, I have my continuous blood glucose monitor and so I'll show you the app with that. Um, I do like that it has like a consistent reading. It takes a reading every 15 minutes so I can kind of see throughout the day how it changes. <clears throat> There's a couple things that I'm not super liking about it and I'm not sure how accurate it is because the readings on that are higher typically than the ones I'm getting on my one where I stick my finger um and test it so I'm not sure like the readings aren't really matching up but the directions that they're moving seem right so I think it gives me a sense at least of like what my blood sugar is doing like during the day and especially during the night and it's interesting to see what happens having that on because I've never you know taken my blood sugar in the middle of the night um and it's interesting to kind of see how it reacts whenever I eat and stuff. So that's been kind of cool to watch. Um, I did work out like four days this week and I'm finding the workouts are fine even on my fasting days. Like I thought my fasting days, I would feel really weak or get tired. Like the morning, I've been working out early in the morning. So like the mornings after I'd fasted the whole day, I thought it would be kind of a bad workout, but it's been fine. I haven't been pushing myself super hard on any of the workouts. I've just been using machines and doing kind of a circuit with the machines, doing lightweight. So I haven't been getting winded or anything, but just, you know, moving some weights to just kind of build some muscle a little bit or try to keep my muscle tone while I'm fasting and doing this. Um, I am starting to see some muscle in my arms. Like when I get back from the gym, sometimes I, I've noticed one day I'm like, oh, I'm starting to see my bicep again. So yeah, I don't know. I guess I don't really have that much to talk about. It's been still going good. So I guess I'll run through my apps and then we will get to the measurements. Okay, so here's my Fitbit. In terms of steps, I said before I wanted to try to get um, 10,000 steps a day. Let's see, what week are we at? Okay, so last week I did get at least 10,000 steps on every day except Wednesday. I don't know what happened on Wednesday, but I did get close to 8,000, so that's not bad. So I feel like I did pretty good on my steps. 
and then we'll show my weight. So my average for the week before last was 157.6 and then this last week it was 154.7 so I lost almost three pounds and then so far this week um, my weight is still going down a little bit so that's good and I think it's interesting to show this chart so you can see there where that line goes like shoots way down that's when I did my three-day fast um, and then it's just, it's been kind of going up or down because it goes up on the days that I eat and down on the days that I fast. So it's going up and down, but it's overall trending down. So if you see in the last year, like I'm starting to get a pretty big kind of drop there. So that's good. And what else? Let's do my, this is for my blood sugar monitor that I have in my arm right now. Um, so see what I like about it. You can kind of see just how it randomly changes. Um, so I fasted yesterday. So, and then I ate about, I don't know, kind of late. It was like eight o'clock and you can see where throughout the night is when my blood sugar went up and then about midnight. I don't know. It just kind of was going crazy. It usually does that after I eat. I have these weird, like kind of ups and downs. Um, and then this morning, it kind of went up a little bit. It, it goes up every morning, it looks like. About like four o'clock in the morning, it'll start to just like go up a little bit and then stabilize. And so it says it's at 111. And then let me see if I can, the thing that I don't like is it only shows you, like I can't go back and see the previous day. Like this is all I can see. So if I wanna remember what it was, I'll have to take a screenshot of it to try to remember I wish I could go back and see like historical ones but the most you can see is like 24 hours so you could do 12 hours you could do six hours or three hours but the most you can do is 24 hours and I haven't found a way I don't think there's a way to see like what yesterday was the day before so I wish I could kind of prepare and all it really shows you it it automatically sets this range between 70 and 140 as your like ideal range um and then it just tells you like, really the only substantial thing that it tells you is how long you were in your target range um, for you to see out for a longer period of time. And I don't know, <laughs> I guess that's useful. And then it, it will mark if your glucose spiked. So it spiked last night after I ate, I must've ate at like seven, but um, yeah, it'll just, it'll mark any events, but then the events kind of go away. It only keeps like two days worth of events. So I don't know, like it's, it's kind of useful just to see this chart if you check it regularly, but I don't like that it just goes away. Um, like with my other monitor, it keeps all of your data. Um, so you can look at the last 28 days, but then you can also bring up like older stuff, but you can see it, you know, for a longer period of time. Um, and yeah, so this, it's been, the other app seems to be, so here it says my glucose is 75, um, 94, 88, 92. Most of these readings are pretty low, but on the other ones, it's been like over a hundred more consistently. And so I don't know, I'm getting different readings between these two. And so I don't know which one's more accurate. I kind of feel like this one might be more accurate based on what I'm feeling. But like I said, I kind of like seeing the more, you know, the measurements every 15 minutes to see how it's changing. So I don't know. Um, I've got seven more days on this sensor. So I may go ahead and use it for a full 30 days with my other sensor and just see if the other sensor shows something different. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just trying it out. Um, is there anything else on here? I think that's it. I'll um, go and do my measurements then. I think I'll start in my normal clothes because I do feel like they're starting to fit me a little bit differently. They're fitting a little bit looser. So here's how it looks in this. I do feel like my t-shirts are a little bit looser. And then my pants, I don't know if you remember the video where I said I was getting holes here in the thighs. It definitely feels like they're not as tight anymore. And my roommate's mom sewed up the holes in my thighs so I could get some more wear out of them but I don't think I'm gonna have a problem if I stick with this of 
getting those holes there anymore. But yeah. So here's how I'm looking. <clears throat> so it's been a month now and I'm starting, I think, to maybe see some changes a little bit. I guess we'll see when we do the measurements. So yeah, let me um, get these pants off and we'll do some measurements. Okay, so here's how I'm looking. Okay, maybe not that much of a difference, but I don't know. I feel, I'm starting to feel different. But yeah, here it doesn't look like maybe that much different, but I guess I'll have to compare it to one of the older videos. Oh, and here's my, here's my tracker. On the back of my arm. So yeah, let's look at the measurements. So up here, last, wait. Last time this was 32, no, 31.75. This time it is 32. <laughs> Maybe I'm just getting back muscles from doing pull-ups. what I'm going to tell myself if it's bigger. Okay, no, it's about, I'd say it went up a little bit because it's definitely over 32, 32, or 31.75. Oh, wait, actually, that's what it was last week. <sighs> and then my chest, I do feel like my chest is a little bit smaller. see I guess it looks like it's right at 37 yeah yeah so it's a little bit smaller ah <gasps> It's a little bit over 37. It's in between 37 and 37 and a quarter. So I'll just put 37 and a quarter. And that's what it was last week. My waist. Let's see. It's looking like 30. Is it straight? looking like 35 and three quarters oh 34 and three quarters right there and that was what it was last week so not a lot of changes on my measurements actually my hips they have been going down so we'll see where did I lose three pounds then Twisted. It's about 41. I'm losing it in my hips. <laughs> Which is not bad, but I'd rather lose it in my waist. I don't mind having big hips. And my thigh. Oh, last week it was 41 and a half, so I lost another half inch in my hips. One and a quarter. I'm losing in my hips and my thighs. Last week it was 21 and three quarters. So I lost a half. So my three pounds came out of my hips and my thighs, I guess, because I lost a half inch in each of those. That's okay. At least I won't be blowing out my uh, seams on my leggings. 
Um, but yeah, let me see. I haven't, I'm not really showing that much because it, it's been a few hours since I worked out, but I'm starting to see just a little bit of definition in my arms already. So yeah, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing so far. Like I said, it's been pretty easy and I'm liking it. And so I've got a trip planned. This is October and I've got a trip planned at the end of January. So my goal is I've got this dress <laughs> that I want to fit in. I tried to wear it last December and I couldn't get it zipped up. So my goal for that is to kind of like try to fit into that dress by the end of January. But at the rate it's going, I think it's, it'll be fine. I think I'll be able to do that. So yeah, I don't know. I'll post another update next Sunday, hopefully.